Hello Lola's. Welcome back to my channel guys. If you're not a Lola, make sure you subscribe so you can be a Lola. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad so you don't miss another video. Guys, also, if you're not in the chatterbox, I promise you it is worth the dollar and 99 cents. You do have to be grown, like grown grown, at least 18. And it is, what, did I say a dollar and 99 cents? I did say that, right? Um, so, I got my fries last month and I think my goal this time is I want to get a mini Whopper with cheese, um, no onions, no mayo on the board okay they don't do that anymore right whopper whoppers don't you can't do that because they said you can't have it your way i don't know the world is just corrupt anyway um so i'm here with maggie maggie Pooh, and maggie is actually maggie <laughs> by um natalie blick <laughs> Um, for those of you that might not know, Natalie Blick was one of my first favorite sculptors. Okay, let me, let me, let me move this. Can I, can I, don't look at me. I just want to move it down just a little bit. Yeah. Oh, now you can't see her little bum bum, pum pum pum. Uh, I just don't want it to get my chin because my chin has a blemish on it. Oh, well, then I could have just showed it since I didn't told you about that. But anyway, so anyway, so yeah, um, Natalie Blick used to be one of my top number one favorite sculptors when I first came into the community. Um, and I, she's still one of my favorite sculptors. But, you know, as you start to explore other things, you start to find other sculptors that you enjoy work. And stuff like that it's the same with artists when you stick with one artist you only know about that one artist as you start to explore you start to find out that you like other artists work um but listen I don't need my customers switching out on me no I'm just kidding um so it's nice to have variety because I found some great sculpts and I'm still exploring right okay so I was um sitting here and I was like okay I got her dress like, I was anticipating her coming and not having hair for a while. So, I did get her a few little cute little hats. And this was one. And, of course, you know, I had to get my grandbaby one. <laughs> so, a lot of times I, I was like, okay, let me put two of these, two of these, <laughs> two of these. Because grandbaby got to have one. So, anyway, it's getting cold. So, it's just perfect, perfect timing for a winter baby um, because of the hats. So... That's the thing. When you have ball babies, lots and lots of cute hats. Headbands are cute on the little babies, but when they're bigger babies, to me, they're still cute with the headband, but I like them in hats instead. Because I think as they get older, you expect them to have hair by then. So the hat kind of, you know, offset that. So by summer, hopefully, or at least by spring, she will be getting hair. I can't decide who I want to send first. Do you guys think I should send Kingsley, which is my um, Gabby Gill Asleep by Clarita, the my little chocolate boy, or should I send um, Maggie first for hair? You guys let me know in the comment section. I'm gonna kind of let you guys choose because you guys are the ones gonna be getting to watch them too. I mean, for me. I'm kind of torn in between the two, so maybe you guys can be the tiebreaker for me. Um, I always like to hear your opinions and stuff and what you like and what you, you know. So, speaking of opinions, a lot of times, you know, I notice that you'll ask questions. Like, I ask questions, random questions on Facebook. Just thought-provoking questions or just to see what the majority is thinking or if I'm the only one thinking something. And I noticed like a lot of people will comment like, oh, I do not like this or don't like that. Like I really like I asked about um, the softness of silicone um, and I got a huge response to that post. But a lot of people were like, yeah, I don't like the the soft, the extra soft and the way that it you know moves and all this and stuff. And then 
a lot of people say, um, I've never had one or, you know, um, I've only had this, but they still gave an opinion on the soft silicone. And I realized that that's how a lot of people like come into the community, get a little confused, a little lost, because a lot of people have opinions about things that they've never experienced in person. And when you do that, girl, why are you talking about something you don't know about? <laughs> okay, let me say that again. Why are you speaking on something that you have yet to experience firsthand to actually have a opinion about? Like, how can you have an opinion about something that you've never experienced? So that always puzzles me. So that's why I always say, like, check your source. Um, just a couple corrections on my, you know, just the way I'm changing. My thought process is changing. Back in the day, I used to always say, Okay, you can look at the artist's photos, but go look at the collector's photos and see what you see. Now I'm taking that back because I noticed that a lot of collectors, when they take photos, um, they don't try to... I mean, I think... Let me, let me word this correctly because y'all know y'all sensitive and just get out of pocket, but I'm going to just say it and hopefully you guys don't be offended i noticed that some collectors are more focused on what the baby is wearing not so much of how the baby is like posed or looking in the photo or even trying to put lighting in the photo when they take the picture that type thing so sometime and that's fine because that's their baby and they're just showing their baby and we love seeing the babies can we agree on that yes we can shut up um but you you can't always see the details in the baby, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Even in some of my photos, I notice like I'm like, mm, that doesn't really give a true picture of this baby. Like it's kind of like I get as close as I can, but sometimes like you don't see like the the blood flow in the baby or the the modeling or you know what I mean? Like, you don't see some of the details. Sometimes you can't see the veining. And you just see, like, solid skin tone. A little bit of shading. Stuff like that. And it's like, okay, you can't see everything. Like, like with Maggie. You know, just looking at her right now. You can't see the different undertones that she has. You can't see the texture on her nose. Um... You know, you can't see the pimples on her chin. And even if I pull her clothes to the camera. Even if I put her clothes. Let's put her clothes. Focus. You still cannot see. What I see exactly. Um, so... And she is kind of, sort of like a peaches and cream baby. So, <laughs> what are you doing? You trying to eat your bunny? Are you trying to eat your bunny? <laughs> she does have a bit of a peaches and cream um, color. But she does have, you know, some variations and some, some, you know, some detail. So... But I realized that you can't necessarily always see it on camera. So, you know, it's it has its pros and its cons. Sometimes you can't see stuff that you are glad that you can't see. And sometimes you can see things that, you know, you want to see. Like, for instance, her creasing on this arm is fine, right? But the creasing on this arm, where is it? Uh... I didn't really like this crease a whole lot, but the camera doesn't necessarily pick it up. But maybe if I get a little closer, you might be able to pick it up. But like little things like that, you can't always see. And sometimes it's not that you're trying to hide it. It's just, it just don't pick it up. The cameras have a way of smoothing out the skin and even it out and stuff like that sometimes. So anyway... So my point is, you know, you got to kind of 
really use your own judgment when you're looking at between the artist photos and the collector's photos and then you kind of kind of look at the collector's photos and see if their photos are consistent and then you kind of can see you'll know like say for instance i've never bought from jane smith before but i have bought from bianca smith and this collector have babies from both but both babies look equally bad. But Bianca Smith, I know for a fact, do outstanding work. So that tells me that the collector camera is probably not picking up the baby in its best lights or best detail. So now I'm just not going to use that as a credit reference. You know what I mean? Like it's not a credible source. So I'm not going to do that. So, But if I know that Loretta normally takes very good pictures and detailed pictures of her babies. And I've got a baby from one of the same artists that she got a baby from. And that the baby looks, you know, pretty close to the same as on the lines of that artist's work. I may go to that particular collector for reference. In the future if she has a baby in a collection in a car collection from an artist that I'm actually following and thinking about buying from see how that works so you know this online business is hard it's never going to be exact because cameras video screens everybody's settings is different it's just never going to be exact sometimes it's going to be way better sometimes it's going to be better sometimes it's going to be about the same just not quite the same sometime it's gonna be totally different um and so now there are times where you know that the person edited the video like a lot of people do a lot of filters when they're taking photos and I just bypass those pictures I mean maybe the pose and everything is cute but if I'm looking to see you know someone's work I'm not gonna look at a filter picture no, definitely not. I'm not going to look at a filter's work. But anyway, I say all this to say that sometimes people message me and they ask me, who do you recommend? This and I, I don't give recommendations because sometimes I haven't seen people work. Not only that, everybody have their own preference and I don't think that I should be giving out re recommendations because if something is not to your liking when you get it, you're going to come back to me and say, but you said, so I'm not going to do that. Um, also, there are some babies that I really want to see in person and hold in person and, you know, experience from different sculptors, different artists. And I'm hoping next year I can get some of those babies in my collection. I had to turn down a baby to paint. Um, and I was really bummed out about it because I really wanted to paint. That particular sculpt but I'm just too booked up and I just won't take on anything else because I don't want to you know do too much and you know be overwhelmed you know overwhelmed I'm kind of settling down now I feel better I finished rooting the prototype Genesis um, and pictures will be coming soon I'm doing her touch-ups and all that stuff and then I'll you know cut and style her hair get her dressed and do her pictures as I get her ready to travel to her mommy. So, um, look for that. Right behind that will be Jolie. Jolie by Sylvia, Sylvia Manning. So, Genesis is by Doris Hornbogen. And then right behind that will be Jolie by Sylvia Manning. Then the next one will be Alex by Claire Teller as a girl, as an AA baby which I'm excited to do a different version. <laughs> and I actually will actually take more time on that baby because, you know, my baby, I kind of rushed and painted in a week. But, <laughs> but um, this baby, I will be trying to perfect the skin tone for the mommy. I'm so excited. And so I'll show that baby before she gets rooted, okay? Um, and then when she get rooted, of course, she'll get new pictures. So that's my schedule just upcoming. There are some more in between, but I don't want to 
speak on it. I got an Ashby and a Finn that will be going on the table next. So once I move, I'm just giving y'all my itinerary of babies. Okay, wait a minute. Is that itinerary? My schedule. I'm giving y'all my schedule. I try to give it to you guys because that way you guys know I'm actually working, not just playing, even though I be sliding in my little babies. Um, mm -mm, don't be mad at me. I already told y'all. So, um, don't suck your teeth. Don't think I don't know. I Listen, I'm a mother of five. I know when somebody sucking their teeth. Just don't suck your teeth at me. All right. So, anyway. Uh, <laughs> I have, um, like I said, Genesis going out. Then Jolie will go out right behind a couple days a few days a week within a week time behind that alex i don't know i don't have a date for that one yet um but um she's on the table um finn i will add finn let's see alex so i will add after genesis go And Jolie go. I will then add Finn. Then after the Alex go, I will add Ashby, I think. Because I try not to paint but one partial at a time. Because I'm just starting to paint partials, so I think I need to concentrate on them. So, yeah. So that's how that will be going. I think anyway that's that's kind of how it's gonna go there will be an in-between because I have to do a another baby that's you know scheduled and so I will have a baby that will come will probably come out bef before Alex maybe yeah maybe yeah we'll see but anyway they might come out at the same time because i work with them together i i kind of in a way i kind of like the way that the silicone takes time because i get to work on other things in between and it gives my brain time to settle down and think for the next step so i kind of like it in a way it has a plus to it anyway guys it's been a long video but you guys know i might not be able to get to you guys in a while so and it's been a while and i wanted to chat with you guys and like i said if you want to get some behind the scenes and what's going on um check out the chatterbox the chatterbox is already seen my next baby that will be shown soon um oops i can't keep a secret okay well i didn't say who and i didn't show it so i still kept the secret right all right lotus all right if you want to be a Chatter Queen Lola, drop down in that description bar and don't forget to join. Also, guys, make sure you're following me on Instagram for photos of these lovely babies. And make sure you're following my blog where I journal, talk about my, my experiences, all of the above. Um, it is MissSerenitySmithBabies.com. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video, won't we, boop, boop? <laughs> won't we, boop, boop? To yep, yep, boop. <laughs> yep, what you looking at? You looking at that light up there? Huh? You looking at the light? Tell them bye. You want to tell them bye? <laughs> okay. <laughs>